Hello, in this video we will install Fast Start. The entire process took about 10 minutes. This video is a little over 5 minutes as I've cut parts while we were waiting for the software to install. In a previous video, we prepared a machine with CentOS 6.5. To install Fast Start on this machine, we will also need a pool of available IP addresses that are not part of a DHCP pool. These will be divided and used for the cloud instances public and private IP addresses. Let's get started. First, SSH into the machine we have prepared to install Fast Start. Then we switch over to the eucalyptus.com website. Here we will find the command to install Fast Start. We'll copy and paste that into our terminal. The installer does a few checks of our system to ensure we will be successful. Next, the installer tries to gather information about this machine and the network it's on. Please verify the information, making any corrections. Next, we will enter our IP range. First, the starting IP, then the ending address. As stated on the screen, Fast Start will split these for use by the instances. I'm going to pause the audio while the installer runs and return when the installation is complete. And we're back. The installation is complete. It took 10 minutes and 30 seconds to install. First, we need to source our credentials. Next, we'll check out our cloud. The you could describe availability zones verbose command shows our cloud is up, has resources available, and currently one instance running. The you could describe instances command will give us information about the running instance. From this information, we can SSH into the instance. When I'm checking out a cloud for the first time, I like to verify that my instance has internet access. We will run the ping command to verify. And it looks like the instance has internet access. Now that we have verified our Eucalyptus Cloud is running properly, I'd like to point out that the message of the day has been configured to always show the URL and login information to the management console. There is also a link to the CLI tutorials. I recommend everyone new to Eucalyptus spend time going through the tutorials. These will always be available on the message of the day. To access these links, log into your cloud from a terminal. Let's take a quick look at the management console and launch an instance. You can copy and paste the URL into a web browser. Log in with the user credentials shown on your terminal. From there, we will launch a new instance. Click on the running instance icon at the top left. Here we can see there is currently only one instance running. Click Launch New Instance. Click Default Image. Click Next. On the Details tab, you can choose the number of instances to run and instance type. Click Next. On the Security tab, you can choose Key Name and Security Group. Here we will take the defaults and click Launch. We will wait until the instant status changes to running. Let's test the instance. Copy the IP address. We'll run the SSH command with our key pair and user and IP address. And now we are in a simple ping test to verify internet access. And that looks good. In the video, we demonstrated a Eucalyptus Fast Start installation, introduced a few command line tools, 
launched a couple of instances and verified we had access to the instances and that the instances had internet access. Thanks for watching.